how would you identify and create data products that provide this value to your customers then? Honestly, it's whatever the customers like, right? Ultimately, like at the end of the day is, is how they define it. Well, like, you know, the customer is always right. So whatever they value will be yep. what, what is right. In, in my case, as I try to deliver products that they value, I think because my purview is try to get to a lot of client personas at the same time, it's almost like, how do I create a product that with the minimum number of modules, I can address the maximum number of use cases. Therefore, it's going to be very likely that I'm going to have at least like five or six use cases that are going to be pertinent to any given client, even though for the core clients, there may be 30, you know? So yeah. it's almost like, for me, the significant value would be like basically how many use cases and how many ways am I addressing client needs with the data solutions that I'm bringing to the table and how easy it is for them to get to the answers. So a lot of the investment that we also put in place, and I, I didn't talk about this, but I actually think it has been quite helpful, is we distill those insights and we spell those out. So it's not just about showing you a chart that shows you, hey, you know, this is where your customers concentrate geographically and how far they live from your store. And it's also to tell you like, hey, you know, these are the five stores in which, you know, you have the highest value for proximity. And we're seeing that zip codes around your area that like, you know, are very close to your store are not yet, you know, getting the same share of wallet from those customers that could be purchasing with you. So maybe those are the zip codes you want to do marketing on. So like actually investing the calories on like giving you potential hints into how you can distill these data assets into actionable business recommendations. You can decide to do it or not. We of course will caveat it because we're not the wizards of the world, but that level of understanding of like, not only I'm trying to kind of give you the most options, but also I'm really making it simple. Like you know, nobody has time, yeah. you know, <laughs> nobody wants to invest in more products. They actually want to, you know, have cool ideas and nudges in terms yeah. of how to think about the trends that they're observing and the ways that they incorporate that into their business to make more yeah. value. That's been basically one, yeah. one good, good tool yeah. that we have in our toolkit. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's just a bit like if, when you go to a restaurant and you, if you've got a restaurant that's got like 100, 100 options. If you don't, I, I hate it because it's like, where do I choose? Uh, if you've got well, like that's, more, that, that's decision more... overload. It's actually yeah. net, net negative. You deciding yeah. on 100 options is actually more exhausting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't, yeah. you're going to make a worse decision if you only have three, yeah. <laughs> that, that if you only have three options. It, that's that's yeah. statistically yeah. relevant, what I'm telling you. Fair enough. <laughs>